Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Disha and I'm here to help you transform your house into a home. So today I have a special treat in store for you as we dive into the vibrant world of Indian festivals and bring to you a fantastic DIY of paper pulp rangoli that will not only brighten up your entrance but also add a touch of eco-friendly magic to your celebrations. So before we get started, let's quickly go over the supplies you'll need for this amazing DIY. You'll require some old newspapers or magazine or notebook papers, PVA or white glue, acrylic colors of your choice, an MDF board or cake board and a few pen brushes. So all these supplies are simple and readily available for creating something amazing. Now before we dive into the crafting fun, I have something exciting to share with you. Are you interested in expanding your DIY skills? Well, I have a fantastic offer for you. Right now, my online candle making course is available with 20% discount and this offer is for a limited period of time so don't miss the opportunity. I have shared a lot of things with this online course like resources, PDF files, charts, videos and lot more. I have added the link in the description box and in the pinned comment. Don't forget to grab this exciting offer. Alright, let's get down to the nitty gritty of making this mesmerizing paper pulp rangoli and here's how you can do it. Start by collecting old newspapers, magazines or any scrap paper you want to recycle into pulp. Remove any staples, tape or plastic from the paper as this should not be included in the pulp. Carefully tear the paper into small pieces or strips. The smaller the pieces, the easier it will be to break down into pulp. Place the torn paper pieces into a large container or bucket. Add enough water to completely submerge the paper. Let the paper soak for several hours or maybe overnight. This allows the paper to break down and soften. If you have a blender or food processor, you can speed up the process by blending the soaked paper into a pulp or you can just knead the paper using your hands. This will result in a smoother consistency. Be sure to add enough water to facilitate blending. Once the paper is well soaked or blended, use a sieve or strainer or a muslin cloth to separate the paper fibers from the water. You can press the mixture against the sieve to squeeze out excess water. Place the pulp into a mixing bowl or a small cup and add PVA or white glue. Mix acrylic color and mix it well until the color appears uniform. Follow the same steps to prepare the paper pulp in different colors. Adding gold color can make your rangoli look perfect for the festive season. Next, draw a rangoli design of your choice on the MDF board. You can use thick cardboard if you don't have MDF board. You can use cake board as well. Now it's time to bring it to life with colors. Start arranging the paper pulp on the MDF board as per the design. Don't forget to add those little details that make it pop. I'm going to add some bling on this bigger one and for that I'm using these mirrors in different shapes and sizes. I agree that nothing can beat the elegance of 
real flower rangoli but not everyone has the luxury of getting real flowers every day and it's not possible every day to make floral rangoli so at that time this kind of rangoli comes handy and uh, it is eco friendly at the same time so i wouldn't mind having it now i'm going to use some glitters once your paper pulp rangoli is dry it's ready to adorn your entrance the colors and patterns will welcome guests and add a touch of indian tradition to your home once the rangoli is dry you can seal your work using spray varnish so that your rangoli remain protected from dust and you can easily clean it using damp cloth or dry brush Here's the magical part. This paper pulp rangoli can double up as a beautiful wall decor. Just add a hook on the back of the MDF board and hang it on the wall. You can also create a colorful gallery wall using several pieces in different shapes, designs and sizes and this will definitely liven up your space for the festive season. I encourage you all to give it a try and share your creations with me on my Facebook or Instagram. All right, don't forget to check out the link in the description box to avail 20% discount on my online candle making course. This is an excellent opportunity to learn and explore a new craft and get those creative juices flowing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any update. That's all for today. I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, watch either this video or this. Bye-bye. Wish you all love, luck and sunshine.